Hey everyone, and welcome back to Lucette the Unlucky. Doing the divines this season. Disrespect the law and you disrespect And me. we are looking quite lovely here, having a travel to the temple of Debella. And we hang out with those ladies there a lot. We have our fancy umbrella here, which is actually pretty deadly, especially in the hands of a expert a poisoner. We're the foremost alchemist in Skyrim at this point, selling all our potions to the, the shops okay. everywhere. We've amassed quite a sum. We have an estate outside Damn, of Solitude, the, the wealthiest to town the storm cloaks. in Don't Skyrim. Yeah, well, we don't try to stay out of the political stuff. And uh, I guess it's early here. And so we're going to travel to the Drunken Huntsman, the 24-hour store. Let me know if you see anything you like. All right. Well, here we might have some stuff. For Hello, sale. friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Yeah, we were just, uh, you know, at the Jarl's Palace telling them we completed one of their bounties. Bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. And now we shall unload our spoils. Yes. All right. Well, I'm just looking at the stuff he has here. Now we do, we are kind of in the market for a new outfit here. We had been wearing this vampire armor because uh, we were, you know, a vampire slayer. In chapter two, we did the whole, you know, Darn Guard quest line. And so we are in the market for like an outfit we can actually fight in because this is like our city clothes here. So always checking the inventory lately because so we can't smith or anything. Kind of picturing her in glass armor, maybe, but I've only found glass Thank weapons and a glass helmet, business. and no one seems to have just the armor. So we haven't. Uh, it's still a little bulky. I'm not. I'm actually not sure. She looks so good in the uh, the vampire armor, but you know, we're trying to raise her out of the darkness. Uh, oh, and here we have oh, our hello. Uh, fiance. I guess you would call her. Isolda. Hello, friend. Friend. I thought we were getting married. I don't know. We have a date set. I don't know why she's calling us friends, but uh, yeah, we have good a date to see set. You. Yeah, good Everything to see you. Everything all right? Something's up with her. She's like out of it. Like she doesn't really recognize us. Like, kind of weird. I thought she'd be like, oh, I can't wait for the the day, the big day. I mean, all we did was we wore an amulet of uh, Mara, right? And you talk to people, they're like, oh, you're single, huh? You're wearing the amulet. Well, we were like, yeah, yeah, you're single. You want to go out on a date? And she's like, all right, we'll set the date. <laughs> like, wait, no, we I'm meant like in. I'd come to the bar and Let hang out. Anything, she's here, you, you know, arranging stuff in Riften to uh, well, tie the knot. Traveler. All right, but the thing is, Say we are yeah. in need. What? Good to see you again. We are in need of a. Uh, here, take a look at this. A mom. Some of we the yards men came by and left this bounty letter. All right, here we go, Jarl. Bounty. All right, Silent Moon's camp. You want a drink? I feel like we've been there before, but I haven't played Depends. a lot of characters. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. I think we were here with her, for sure. All right, so, yeah, Sadia, we freed her from uh, some trouble she was in. She loves us. So. Going to get some wine, our speciality. We're a woman of yes, culture mom. here. You know what's you know wrong what I mean? with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with yeah. death. You know what? Well, this is what we've friend. been struggling with. Uh, we were uh, indebted to several Daedra. A few of them we didn't have to People kill anyone for, but uh, a few of them we did. And romance. And uh, really starting to weigh out. All right, everyone's talking. But there's more to well, it's a busy gone. bar. We got the but dude singing. Do for you? If it's work you need, it's my desire to enter the Bard's College. All right, we don't need the Bard's my College. My parents are hesitant, but I pray they let me attend. All right, well, good for you, boy. May your sword be sharp and your tongue sharper. I'm sure you'd be better than this guy. Apparently, he hits on all the ladies here, and I get fed up with it. All right, anyway, it's too chaotic in here. We just came in to get a job. Uh, we're just doing odd jobs here. We're trying to get back to the basics. We were fighting vampires and... Falmer, we're going into dwarven uh, the ruins and fighting these uh, robots Shiny or whatever. So we're just trying to keep it simple. Lady. Kill some bandits. Relax here. We're getting away from the kid. Well, we like the kid. It's just like a lot of pressure now. We have a family. We just adopted her. She was living on the streets right here. Like literally up the up the stairs right there. 
She's living on the streets after we rescued her from vampires. Her family didn't want anything to do with her. Well, her parents were dead. So we adopted her, but then we needed a female we needed a female presence. We hired a <laughs> nanny. And we also uh Anyway, alright. I did a little fast traveling here, so I was still caught up in the moment from before. All right, we got out our trusty crossbow. Of course, the specialty of the Dawn Guard. Well, we already poisoned it. I probably with paralysis. That's my thing. But uh, oh, I got the controls messed up. But uh, yeah, I was trying to put frenzy to set them against each other here. All right, I'm gonna bandit thug. Yeah. Now what's funny is I did just do this uh, in my other uh, character as well. Oh. Oh my, we got a bunch of them here. There we go. Didn't do too much damage, but maybe they're paralyzed and laying on the ground. We're not doing very well here. They're, they got magic, they got archers, they're uh, assaulting us, and uh, we're losing a lot of health here. Meanwhile, this one ran right up to us here. All right. I did have Lydia for a while helping me out with some missions, but I decided to go it alone here. All right, let's, uh, let's just spark this. Get the sparks out, and we'll get a one-handed. All right, we're already paralyzed with the umbrella, and uh, all right, that's better. That's how you do it. All right, zap them when they're on the ground. Easy peasy. All right, you don't have any good loot. The arrow, the guy with the arrow is a little harder. Your head on my wall. All right, we got a zig and zag. Oh, we got a hit. We're actually doing pretty poor. Um, we do have a lot of health potions though, so let's take a few of those. Look at that. We got so much health. We're such a good alchemist here. Vigorous healing. We got a lot of good stuff. And they all do one or two different things too. Fortify and and also uh, give you back some health. And we're missing le left and right here. All right, trusty umbrella. I think it's not poisoned anymore, so we may have to take care of that, but uh, a little too chaotic to figure that out right now. All right. All right. Got some cover. We'll be all right. All right, should we try to slow? It can never get the slow work. All right, we'll get out the uh, crossbow again. Because they got a bow, we got a bow. We're pretty good with this now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So we should have paralyzed him, but... Oh, my God. That we wouldn't have gotten that cool little kill cam. Oh, the extra little swish there. All right. We did it. Well, we still got to do the ones up top. And the ones inside. And the thing is, we're pretty leveled up pretty high right now. So I think we'll be all right. But we have very powerful poisons, etc. I've come here early game recently. I might have even been this character earlier in the game. And I got demolished by the boss in there. Like, just one shot killed. So, I've... Like, every time I've done this camp, it happens. I'm never prepared for it. He just kills me. He's got, like, a big hammer or something heavy or something. All right, so we got more up there. And you know what? We actually don't even have to kill them up there, to be honest, to do this quest. I'm just going to save over an old save. i got way too many saves here. <laughs> way too many. It's just always so easy to save a new one. And one of the reasons I save a little... I mean, I always spam save uh, playing this game, to be honest. But it's more important now because I do get crashes sometimes. Skyrim has been pretty good. But Fallout, man, I mean, that, that game is very unstable. On it. I'm playing on Xbox, by the way. So... Uh, I like Xbox. Man, I'll tell you, we're, what are we at? 60 episodes deep in this. And some of them were an hour long. So we're over 50 hours in this playthrough. And this is running pretty smooth for being on Xbox. Now, I don't have a lot of ton of crazy mods or anything. I have a nice core mod load order. You know, all the... Never should have come here. All the apocalypse and all that stuff. And uh, yes. it's not a ton of stuff, but it's enough to make it a very unique uh, playthrough. And it's running super smooth. Alright. Now here, I'll probably die here. 
Now, whatever we're shooting at him is doing nothing. I think so, yeah. I am prepared to die. I was just talking about that. All right, so we got the shadow. Oh, that's what we're doing. The shadow. Uh, pale shadow. All right, so there we go. We did our thing. It took a little while longer. I love doing this. My new fighting technique here. You paralyze them with the umbrella. They're not expecting an umbrella to paralyze them. You know what I mean? Then, instead of going in for the finishing blow, we just sit back, apply the pale shadow spell, creates a duplicate of them from the shadow realm, whatever the heck's going on, and they get killed by their own image, stomping on them while they're helpless on the ground paralyzed. Of course, you gotta get close to do it, so here we are, trapped behind this pillar, with one stupid bandit left, Can't hide from me. and we did get him. Alright, so look, he's even trash talking himself. Look at that. The ghost is trash talking the guy. You can't hide from me because I know you. I got your brain in here. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was exactly what movie's going to make. All right. Well, that didn't work out because we paralyzed him a little too hard. And he's uh, not getting up from that one. But anyway, that wasn't that clean. But it was pretty fun. So like I said, I'm a little more powerful than the last time I was here. But uh, yeah, I've been loving this character. I'll tell you that right now. I never played an alchemist like this. I would just like, I would, I've grinded alchemy for sure, just to make tons and tons of gold. Now that's part of what I'm doing here, but I'm actually coming up with some pretty cool play style with this uh, paralysis and uh, pale shadow thing. And I don't know, I like the whole thing healing. I wish that, I do wish there was more like complicated potions and stuff. And I don't know if there's a good potion mod out there. I've never heard anyone talk about a potion mod. So I'm sure there are mods for some potions. But there's not one like there are for the perks or the spells and all that stuff. Uh, you know, the shouts. Like the Anai Sion. I don't think he has an alchemy one. Uh, or the, maybe he does. And I just was never interested in alchemy. And so I didn't think about it. And uh, I will have to look that up. Because now that I've played this character, I think other characters I can not be an alchemist but do that a little bit and specialize in these maybe do also a paralysis or uh, especially the healing ones i learned a lot about what ingredients combine uh to make the best ones so i am gonna Looking probably to do, do some that in other characters avoid britishin pass to the southwest well what does that mean avoid it uh, is he telling me that, that it's a challenging area there i mean what the heck well, I'm not going hunting anyway, except for bandits. And we are here to turn in another quest at Dragon's Reach in the middle of the night. We're going to have to wake up the steward here. Ah, oh, I got the stupid bolt still. I hate that. But we are looking fine other than the crossbow bolts on our butt. <clears throat> Who just cleared their throat? All right, we're just going to wait till morning. I don't feel like finding this guy. <laughs> Let's just sit here. We'll wait for the Jarl and his uh, whole court to come out first thing in the morning for the breakfast. And we'll be here. Another kid. wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Lick boots. Good job. Well, guess what? I just killed a bunch of bandits. They were pretty tough, too. I paralyzed them, and I made them die with their own shadow, all right? I'm not licking anyone's boots. Oh, here he is. Good. We don't even have to go up there. Hey, buddy. Good morning. Divines bless you. May uh, the divines ground you walk quake as you pass. Bless you, too. I love hearing from this guy. Excellent. He says the perfect thing. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. We are... Definitely on a task to uh, enjoy your visit to Dragon's be Reach. Blessed by yes, the so divines, well. you know. That's our that's our goal for this segment of her story. So she has trying to clear out some of that darkness. You know what I mean? And we're trying to keep it simple too. Trying to live a nice, simple life. No vampires. No threats to all of Skyrim, all humanity. We just got a bunch of bandits up the road causing trouble. I mean, it's good to get back to basics. All right. Take that off. There we go. And I just, I just love this umbrella mod. 
I wouldn't think it goes that well in Skyrim, you know what I mean? But I don't know. I think it's perfect for her. And uh, this mod is cool because you also can get a shield that's uh, really cool looking because they have patterns on them and stuff. Now, uh, we're not using shields here, but uh, I think I might use that on another character for sure. All right. What are we doing? We gotta sell some of this stuff. All right, we got a lot of stuff to sell. Not a lot, but some. And we always have extra potions to sell, of course. This guy will never shut up. He's really going at it today. All right. Man, it's a beautiful day here too. Not always quite this nice in Skyrim. Ah, darling, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, babe. How you doing? We're gonna marry that girl. I guess. I don't know. It wasn't our first choice, but uh, hey, you get what you can get, right? <laughs> I don't know. We couldn't unlock the other ones. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and this get a This is a local out. favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Oh, Ragnar my. the Red. Well met, friend. Here, All take right. a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and Once left this bounty left them. Alright, we gotta kill a giant. Alright, giants God's is our speciality at this point. Alright, shut up, dude. I hate this guy. Alright, anyway. Giants. Then he went quiet, did Ragnar First of all, when he met the, the giant's toe is a legendary ingredient. You can make potions worth over 1,000 gold each just from having a giant's toe with wheat and uh, blue mountain flower, right? And maybe hanging him off. There's some other combos, too. You can make a lot of money. It's like the number two or three ingredient out there. Hello, friend. Okay, with the friend stuff. We need, just said friend? hi and she was sweet. This girl has got Odds something ends. going on that in her brain right now. All right, anyway, Carlotta here. We can get some butter. Now, we don't need to make garlic bread anymore. We were obsessed with getting butter to make garlic bread because it cures vampirism. But Take care the other thing butter is good for is we good can make some again. pastries right. and we got a kid at home. So uh, we're trying to, to the top. trying to be a nice mom, you know. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. All right, Welcome Bellathor, indeed. Of course. Time to trade. Oh, we just almost knocked that Every pot over trinkets, with our umbrella. Odds and ends, that it sort of thing. stayed on the table. Oh, thankfully. All right. He doesn't have anything good. Do we have any armor we can wear? We could wear robes, like, but we're not. I don't know. We're not really a magician. You know what I mean? We're an alchemist. We kind of magic-y. And we do use destruction. But we're kind of basic with that. And we have the... Of course, now we have the Pale Shadow spell. But we are a conjuration. But we don't really use spells. We use the uh, Sanguine Rose. The uh, Daedric Artifact. So, you know, I don't know. So I'm basically just scrolling through here, looking for anything I can get for the kid. So there's a few extra things you can get there. All right. Man, I got so many different bolts taking up spots in here. It's like ridiculous. We might as well sell some of these arrows that we're never gonna use. I, they're worth zero. I'm just getting it out of my inventory here. <laughs> they're worth nothing. All right, take these arrows. But the bolts we'll use, I guess. I don't ever remember to switch between them, though. Got some random rings. We have a lot of junk here, man. We are junked up. Look at all these gems. I mean, we're mid, you know, getting late, mid to late game here. So, uh, gotta pick up a lot of stuff. All right. I don't know. Might as well just sell some potions, I guess. 
Because I'm going to sell the armor and stuff outside, I think. So we do have some older paralysis potions. We've gotten a lot better at making them. Alright. That's good enough. Let's see what else we can unload for uh, 220. Two. I mean, whatever. I really don't even care. Maybe we can sell some precious gems. Here we go. There. Good enough. All right. Nice, Bellathor. I don't know why I'm obsessed with money. I mean, Do I'm getting into back. the role of the character, and she would be constantly trading. This is, this is basically her job, right? I mean, she is an adventurer, of course, but, you know, this is our cover. Not our... You know what I mean. It's like a... We just go roaming from town to town selling them stuff. But we specialize, of course, in potions, but we also have whatever we picked up from the dungeon. All right. Time to move on. So we have another uh, mission to do for the Jarl. This time we kill a giant and... The giants are so fun to kill now with this new fighting technique we have. We're really looking forward to this one. Because, as they say, of course, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And we are the foremost expert in like paralysis. Me, eh? Don't fancy those clunky two-handed weapons. Nope. We like the light. Umbrella, the weapon of choice of guards and whatever the heck we are at this point. All right, this is our house, by the way. We live there. It's just our our local, uh, you know, pit stop kind of house. Uh, our real, we have a manor, a whole manor that we built with our own two hands, by the way. Winstead Manor. Winstead? Winstead? I don't even know. That's out by Morthal area. Solitude, right, right, right across the swamp from Solitude. All right. Take the shortcut. And we are off, yes. To kill a giant. It's a nice day for giant hunting. Now this is one we definitely don't need Lydia's help at all or anyone we got this under control and this is another thing going on in this chapter if you noticed uh, we always had a companion by our side the whole game because uh, we had Miko the dog now that's one of the reasons I actually ended up doing this whole adoption thing was because I knew the kid you could leave the dog at the house instead of sending Miko back to wherever I, could, I got him from so I got the kid so we had Miko, and then for the whole first chapter, and then, of course, during the Dawn Guard, we had Serana for most of it, and we also had Dorok there with us for a lot of it. So we had a, quite the party with four of us together, right? And I was conjuring up the uh, Dramora Lord from the uh, Sanguine Rose as well. And Serana would raise people from the dead. So now we're up to six. Now what's funny is this is how I did it actually back in the original Xbox with no mods. And that's the reason I never played the Dawnguard storyline is because I had Serana in my party from the quest and I had a regular follower who also did Conjuration by the way, right? So you had me who with the Dramora, right? Serana raising people who died and the other one who conjured normal Conjuration. So that was six. We had sick a party of six. I didn't have Miko. We had six, so uh, I used to do this, yeah, back on the Xbox. It was like a way to, you know, get like this huge party without any mods at all. So anyway, that's a little blast from the past there. But that's when I'm trying to just bring up the huge party and stuff as a contrast to what we're doing now. We're walking around. We're barefoot, by the way. We haven't even put our shoes back on from the temple. We're like relaxing, enjoying life. We need to get away from the stress. All those people at the Dawn Guard, you know, up at the Dawn Guard Castle, you know, there was people everywhere. Meanwhile, we go back home, there's like a bunch of people living in the house now. It's a lot of commotion there. We got the, the, uh, I don't even know what the house Carl or whatever they gave us. 
and we have a kid, and we have a bard, a singing nanny, and now with the dogs there. So that's four. And we're going to have Ysolda there soon. That's going to be a hell of a house. So sometimes we got to kick it here in White Run. You got Lydia there, but she kind of stays out of the way. All right. Anyway, yeah, so we got a whole story here. <laughs> I mean, I like that, you know, back in the day, that character I was just talking about. I had all the five player, you know, all the homes in the different cities. And I did maybe one or two of the uh, hearth fire houses. I had a ton of houses, so I wasn't really role playing back then and getting into my character's head. I was just like, I was just doing whatever I could. And I, I did have two characters. One did the uh, Civil War and one did the main quest. So. I'd stay away if I were you. Oh, what does that mean? So he's sacrificing. We should have stopped and talked to him because. Maybe I'll go back. Yeah, let's talk to him. Because this is a pretty interesting. We're going to see a giant. Let's just, yeah, let's do a little foreshadowing or a little flavor to the story here or whatever you whatever you want to call it. I'd stay away if I were you. All right, let's talk to this guy. I'm on my way to a giant camp, and I can't guarantee those beasts won't think you're part of the offer. Oh, well. <laughs> Keep your distance, <laughs> we and you just shouldn't have anything to, to worry uh, about. be on our way to a giant's camp as well. Do you need any help? No. <laughs> The cow, of course. Oh, poor Others cow. Others do it differently. But I found that an annual offering usually keeps the giants so away the, from our lives. I wonder if Some it, think it's superstition, but I believe yeah, it works. Yeah, maybe the giants I've are smart to enough giant to recognize this guy, lifestyle. and they know where his place is. Uh, it's possible. It's tradition. We mark the animal as a way to let the giants know we're giving it to them willingly. Hmm. Sort of a peace offering. Interesting. I should do I have pale shadow on the uh, cow. Thanks for offering. I <laughs> need any help. Yeah, we're not gonna help. Uh, until next time. All right. So the thing is, he is going a different way than us. Yeah. So there's a giant camp there up that hill, but we're going to this one. So you can see it on the marker. So that would have been hilarious if he was going to the same camp as us. That would have actually been <laughs> been really cool. Oh my god, I love the, the barefoot sound on the on the rocks. So yeah, we're just keeping it casual at this point. And uh, maybe there's a little calm before the storm thing going on here. Honestly, I don't even know where I'm going with this character after this. I, I like this as like a contrast to to the intensity of the whole Dawn Guard. And not just the Dawn Guard. We did four Daedric quests. Uh, well, three of them were in chapter Chapter 2. And that got that got really dark, so. Alright, we're just enjoying the wilderness here. We're running like that deer. We're free. We've embraced nature and the divine. Oh, here's this thing. Should we go figure that thing out? I can open this up. There's a chest in there. Um. Might as well, right? All right. Oh, we're stuck. We just got to turn these to face the right way. All right, here we go. There we got an eagle. All right, eagle. I guess that's good. I hear something. I feel like something's following me. All right, where's the other one? Oh, over here. Where's the thing? I don't see it. All right, let's try this one. Well, at least we got some lavender. I don't see the other fallen rocks. I must be blind. You know what? I think I'm afraid of my own footsteps, first of all. Second of all, I don't know. I couldn't have figured that out. I know there's an easy answer to it, I'm sure, but... We have a mission here. We gotta go right there. You can see their campfire already. We're gonna save, because this does not always go well. They get one hit on us, we're done. Maybe not. We're we're pretty leveled up, pretty good, but 
they also have the mammoths, of course, so uh, it could get pretty hairy. Oh, yeah, they got two mammoths here. That's not good. All right, we wanted to get in and out, get a giant, bada bing, but, uh, and they got that strange glowing tree there. All right, we're going to do a hard save here, honestly. No, I did. I shouldn't have saved it over to quick save. I got, got a little confused there. But yeah, I think I'm because I'm going to have to do a bunch of quick saves in here if we got if we have uh, mammoths. Oh, man, if we don't alert them, we might be all right. Sometimes you can get the giant without alerting them. We're going to go invisible here instead of using the crossbow. That's the easy way to do it. We're going to sneak in right up to them. Smack them. Smack them in the knee. Paralyze them. And then kill him with his own shadow. So that's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, this is it. Wait, is there one inside? There's an inside here, too. We have to go inside. That's not even the giant we have to kill. Because look at the quest marker. It's got a little door thing on it. Oh, we got some Nurn root here. Oh, nice. All right, we're going to grab that real quick. I don't even see it. Oh, it's over there. Jeez. We're wasting all our invisibility time on getting this Nern root. And, you know, we snap out of invisible. But you know what? The giant, they're pretty good. Uh, now, this thing, Blackbriar, like, we kind of want to ask her to, uh, you know, be throwed uh, with her. But I don't think she's on the list, honestly. But we're still want to do her quest just in case. Um. At least in our character's mind. Because, you know, you always have to do something for him to... Like, we helped you soldier. We gave her a mammoth tusk, by the way. <laughs> Just happened to be a mammoth tusk. And now that we're right here. All right, here we go. Look at this. Now, I made the thing first. And then he falls. All right, well, that didn't work. Out. Oh, there it goes. All right, there we go. Nice. That's all you have to do. Two hits. And sleeping tree sap. Hmm. That's interesting. Wait. What is Solda's message? This is the girl we're marrying. I can talk to... Oh, she's doing a Khajiit thing. Right. She loves trading with them. Oh. Skuma. Sap. All right. So, stick me on this deal. So, Ulog. I don't know if this is... So, she's trading with this Ulog guy. Who's a bandit, by the way. It's this sleeping tree sap, which I guess is some stronger type of skooma that they're selling to the Khajiit. So, basically, our uh, sweet Yasolda there is some type of a drug dealer here in Skyrim. So, it looks like we found her dark secret. But, on the other hand, we sell potions and stuff, and most of them kill people and poison them and paralyze them. So, who are we to say anything bad about that? I mean, it's pretty much our thing too, right? So here we go. We got another tusk for her. And we got the giant toe for us. So, yeah. this We're looking at this tusk now. Like, thinking of you sold it. Like, this is all swirling through our head right now. Like, what the heck is going on? Who is this lady? And that explains why she's completely out of it and doesn't even recognize us as well. Oh, look at this. We got more of this sap. Huh. And see, we're getting glass. But we haven't found the glass armor yet. And now we're one over. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to drink some wine. Alright, so. The other thing I wanna get is a good food mod, because I really do enjoy eating the food. And I want one that does, maybe has different buffs or something, but also, I don't know, there's just gotta be a way to make it more immersive, you know? I like the idea of it, cooking and all that, but drinking, it doesn't really do that much. Oh, and here we are, we got more mammoth cheese. And so we're going to have to get wasted. See, you just, you can drink, we'll just eat the cheese. You know, you can drink all you want. It doesn't do anything except the one quest, you know, where you get the sanguine rose, which we've been talking about. That's a pretty nice little house here, man. Uh, you know what? I don't feel good killing all these giants. I really don't. Like, the one guy's, like, giving them an offering. Uh, it really puts it in perspective what we're doing here, but... You know, well, the Jarl, one of them, this one might maybe a particular problem giant. We don't know. 
And also, I mean, you see the reason I... Whoa, what the heck just happened? I just uh, accidentally fired the exploding bolt into my face there. All right. Uh, yeah. Anyway. I don't know. We're trying to get... I was just trying to get rid of the ones with the particular poison on so I could poison it again. So I'm trying to use up all the bolts. Because I'm so buffed out on my alchemy that it, 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 you can use it every poison like 10 times. I don't even know how many times. I don't know. How many did I shoot already? It's like a lot. So now we're doing this. We have another giant to kill. And we also... It's still poisoned. And I don't know what... I don't remember what it was poisoned with, but... Oh, we can take these bolts. This is ridiculous. And so, you know, we got two mammoths out here. All right, here we go. We have to make some more of those potions. All right, so we got two mammoths to kill and a giant. And then we got to deal with the wife or soon to be wife and ask her what the heck's going on here. Where'd they go? Oh, we're up the other way. Here we go. All right, they got a good shot on them. Nice. Did it, it's not paralyzed. Okay, it didn't fall. Uh, that's not good. Uh, this isn't good. Uh, they're res they are they resistant to paralysis? It doesn't. I didn't see the message. They're not falling. Oh my god, they're turning blue. All right. Well, the good thing about these uh, paralysis poisons is it also has a health potion that uh, dissolves your health over time. So it. Uh... All right. I'm, tr I'm not trying to do that. Now I can't do the pale shadow because I got a two-handed weapon here. We got uh, that one's not dead, by the way. It just finally fell. But it does. Okay, this one's gonna die. All right. Now we got to get the giant. I think the mammoth's dead. We keep paralyzing them, and then it reduces a little health, so it's not going to get back up. I think it's gone. Ooh, that was gr brutal. I don't know why I'm shooting that one. I think it's still alive. All right, well, that was easy. Killed a bunch of giants. No big deal, right? Easy peasy. That's not worth as much. All right, well... Over encumbered again. We have so much garbage too. It's hilarious. Why? Why do I still have this Nordic stuff? Well, I, maybe I wanted to try it on. I do need a better outfit. Like, look at what I'm hunting giants in. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're just going barefoot, and they're barefoot too. So hey, there you go. We got the toe. A good thing they're barefoot. I wouldn't want to have to take their shoe off to get to their toe, right? How come you only get one toe? By the way, there should always be two giant toes. I mean, there's 10, but, you know, you need the big toe, of course, but I want to make a mod. I'm sure there's someone did it already. It just gives them all. That's it. The only thing it does, it gives them two toes. I should just make it. If it's not on Xbox, I'll make it for Xbox, you know, because you know what? It's not immersive. It's not immersive at all. All right. Let's get this Nern root here. And then, uh. I want to check this tree out too. See if there's a chest somewhere. And we're, I don't know why I'm being so cautious here. I'm like afraid that another giant's gonna jump out. All right. All right, here we go. There's like a spigot here. All right. Well, we're gonna have to have a long talk with this you sold the woman. It sounds, seems like there's something she's been hasn't been telling us about her her habits here. So we're gonna have to have a long talk with her. But it's probably all right. Like I said, we are an alchemist, so she's selling some brew. I don't know. It sounds pretty cool to us. So this actually makes us like her a little better. Anyway, thanks for joining us. We will see you next time on Lucette the Unlucky. Let's play Skyrim for. Ever. In fact, we're going to play a little more right here. A little bonus footage, as it were, because uh, you know, maybe a fighting giants in this outfit isn't quite as, as easy as I made it seem. So uh, this was, uh, 
Yeah, this was the first attempt, let's say, at getting these... Getting to the tree. Like, we're really just trying to get to the tree. I don't really need to kill them, you know? But they're getting closer. Plus, at this point, I couldn't figure out how to do the tree. Like, I didn't see the spigot over on the other side. I thought you just tapped into it. <coughs> All right. Now, we could just leave, of course, because all we really needed was to kill the other giant. And from my own story perspective, I deliberately wanted this to happen because I knew that whole you sold a thing. And uh, that adds a lot of color to the, the story here, which is also, by the way, the whole reason that I did like five bandit raids in the last two episodes. Because, like, you have to cycle through them until you get this one. So if this had come first... I wouldn't have been doing the bandit raids, but I think it fit in well with the, what I was trying to do with the character as I explained in this episode. Just giving her a break from all the intensity and all that. All right, so now we're trying to deal with these, uh, I, I, you know, obviously I snuck around the other way last time after I, spoiler alert, you know, this is an outtake. I'm gonna have to reload the game after this. And also they have four tusks, by the way. I just noticing right now, four tusks each so how come you just get one or maybe you get two I don't know but you should get four so that's the mod does two different things we're gonna do four tusks to every mammoth which are worth a lot of money too but you know what you kill a mammoth you deserve all that money oh I'm here bashing all right, one. Mammoths, oh, I had Frenzy on it, so that's why I was unloading all my bolts. All right, so we messed up already, and that's why I remembered the next time to do that whole thing with the paralysis. All right, we're just gonna get close. We're gonna pale shadow that thing. Look at this. We got a mammoth up against each other. It's against his brother. And uh, all right, uh, we got this one. We got this one paralyzed. Are you gonna get paralyzed? Nope. Uh, all right. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time. Let's play Skyrim forever.